We've got about 22.2 miles per gallon here on this tank. Frickin' Prius. Magnaflow. It's kind of nice looking. Look at this thing. It's straight through what we exactly have. Everything is brand new, pretty much. I got that type of a, a clamp. So that should be easy, a couple hangers. This thing is big, it's huge. It's not loud enough and we're gonna fix that today. Another problem we have is this. Look at this, unsightly. Uh, letters out, that's kind of so 90s, or maybe even 80s. Not the look that I'd like. So we gotta fix that too. Ruin this spider's home. So here's your 82 degree Colton start. So you know what else is boring besides this 4.2 inch screen is the sound. I mean, if you want to be stealthy, you got your vehicle. I'm curious what this thing is actually gonna sound like. It's more on the mellow side, and that's kind of what I wanted. I don't want something that's too obnoxious all the time. Just uh, when you want it to be, it makes some noise. driving for about 50 miles it is definitely better than stock I would like just a little bit more though a little bit more sound a little bit more feedback but this is a good compromise because you can still cruise through the neighborhoods real slow and uh, not really draw attention so that's cool let's go do a uh, just do a quick rev here just to kind of give a little bit of a better idea here's how it fits they did a great job welding that in a lot less muffler area Resonator can be taken out for a little bit more sound. But overall, we've got a real nice setup. Nothing wrong with a factory tubing size three inch. Next thing we gotta do. We've already got a cold air intake right here. Right? Everything's all zooming through here. We're looking along this, all these little plastic pieces, it's designed to quiet it down so when you hit the gas, you don't hear it. You don't hear the whoosh sound, okay? So 
let's fix this part. No reason to spend 500 and some dollars on an intake or a complete cold air engine. You've already got it from the factory, all right? That needs to be changed probably with the supercharger or perhaps an intake like a uh, boss or something like that off the looking gun. We're doing the simple things right now. What in the flip is up with this? It looks like it's white. But underneath it's white. But this is a silver truck. Okay. And still haul the wood. So this is the air raid uh, intake tube and just a filter. This is the dry filter that I went with. The tube without all of those uh, quieting chambers down, a couple of uh, brackets and some clamps. So uh, that's what we're going to be throwing in this thing and see if it makes a difference in intake sound. Just overall drivability. Uh, just this is all it is, right? You're just adding maybe a little bit more power, but nothing substantial. So save your money on the full intake kits and save your money on a full exhaust system because they, I mean, if you got the money to waste, go ahead and waste it. But uh, this seems to be like the best bang for the buck. Backside insertions. And we'll just take off this and the other, it looks like. Flat blade screwdriver. Put that drop in filter, high flow. Disconnect this fitting just by sliding this over to the right and then just pulling it out. And you gotta break this one. So I'm gonna have to go get a new fitting on that. And then we've just got a uh, screwdriver. Go ahead and undo this. Undo this one. Swap the filter, put on the new one. All these baffles right here just make it quiet it down a little bit. We'll set it aside, keep that for future use for whatever. So when we look at these filters, it claims to be a high flow. And we have this sticker on here because this can be washed and reused. Grab our tube here. All right, so what I did is tighten down the inners first. I want to situate these clamps so that they're going to be easy to access if we need to take it off for some reason. There. That one right down there. Don't want it banging up against throttle body we're gonna make sure those is flush it's sitting flush there the same thing with this one I think that one's curled underneath a little bit I'm gonna have to play around with this just a little bit and get it on there better because we've got a little bit of a crease we're gonna hook up our quick connects uh, this guy apparently is just gonna lay on top of here which should be all right that's just an overflow so this is a pretty easy install cleans up the engine bag gives you a little bit more access and make sure we don't have any air leaks that so I'm pushing towards the engine with my right hand here to keep that snug as possible and we'll go ahead and start cinching this down Let's see what it's like inside. Actually, the exhaust sounds better with the windows up inside. I don't know if it's because we have a standard cab here or not, but uh, when I have the windows down, it's almost like you can hear it better with the windows up. There's your intake tube. Air Aid gives us a 8.6 horsepower increase at 4,800 RPMs and a, almost a 13 uh, pound foot of torque at 2528. Adapters right here that'll do the trick. Pop that back in. You're all set. All right, final analysis on this thing. The intake, 
it's barely discernible. You can't even notice it. So I'm gonna say pass on that. You're maybe getting a dyno proven few more horsepower and torque. The muffler, I want more sound. So this thing, it's a step up definitely from stock. It gives you a little bit, but uh, I would like to take it one step further on it. So that's yeah, just my opinion for these products. Let's do something else.